There's been many religions before Christianity. Yes. And they all had the same story as Jesus. Uh, some like there was a the son of God. What's his name? Was Kronos or or Kron? Kron oh, oh, it or started with K. Yeah, and it was way before Jesus was born. Okay. And he died three days later, resurrected. Mm-hmm. And he was born on December twenty fifth. And um, and I was just telling my friend, I was like, okay, what's your point? And he was like, bro, like these all this stuff happened way before. Uh, Jesus. So, yeah. First of all, let me say this. When somebody says something, it's not your job to refute what they say. It's their job to support what they say. So when he says all this stuff is true about Mithras, first, first question you want to ask is, what do you mean by that? Okay? Because you need clarification. Right. The second question is, how did you come to that conclusion? In other words, what evidence do you have for this being true? Because searching the Internet doesn't necessarily give you the right evidence. There's a lot of misinformation out there, okay? Right. And then the third question is, have you ever considered, and then you provide some evidence back to that person after they try to affirm their own view? And what I would say to somebody who said that Mithras was someone who predated Jesus and therefore you're saying that, what, Jesus borrowed? The, 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 New, the New Testament writers borrowed from right. it and they right. invented it? Here's the truth about Mithras. Number one, it's too late to influence Christianity because it's after Christianity. It's not before. If anybody took anything from uh, anybody, it was Mithras taking it from Christianity, not the other way around. Secondly, he was born out of a rock, not a virgin. Thirdly, he was said to be a god, not a teacher. He didn't have 12 disciples. Number four, he didn't sacrifice himself. He sacrificed a bull. And finally, we don't know anything about his death. There was no resurrection. So just because some website somewhere says all this stuff doesn't mean it's true. Okay. But Egypt is older than one of the hieroglyphics in Oh, my bad. The hieroglyphics <laughs> in Egypt is older. Yes. Oh, yeah. There's the people that predated Jesus. We know that. There were religions prior to Jesus. But even look, even if there were similarities, that doesn't mean that one... Uh, copied from another. In fact, let me ask you guys this. Tell me what ship this was. There was a ship that went on its maiden voyage from Europe that came across the Atlantic. It didn't have enough lifeboats on it. It happened about a century ago. It hit an iceberg. Titanic. It sank, and a lot of people died. That ship was false. It's not what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of a ship called the Futility, which was a novel written in 1898 with the exact same or many of the same details that occurred to the Titanic 14 years later. Wow. Now, no one's going to say because the Futility, a fictional uh, novel, was written 14 years before the Titanic that all news reports of the Titanic must be false. They must be barred from this novel, right? So just right. because there's similarities, if there are, doesn't mean that one is borrowed from another. Make sense? Got it. All right. Thanks, George. And by the way, this is – no, I, I got you. I'm, I'm done. I'm good. I'm just going to mention one other thing, and that is these questions are very important. What do you mean by that? How did you come to that conclusion? Have you ever considered? They're all from Greg Kokel's book, Tactics. If you haven't read that book, you need to read it. They're also in our app, the cross-examined app, two words in the app store. So you should always ask those questions. What do you mean by that? How did you come to that conclusion? Have you ever considered? Now, ladies and gentlemen, these questions you can use for anything, not just questions about Christianity or anything else. Like, parents, if your, your son calls you one night and says, Dad, I'm not going to be home by 11 like you wanted me to, don't panic. First question, what do you mean by that? Second question, how did you come to that conclusion? Third question, have you ever considered if you're not home by 11, you're grounded for two weeks? Be right home, Dad, right? By the way, husbands, 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 never, ever, ever use these questions on your wives. Right. Because if she calls you an idiot, don't say, what do you mean by that? Or, how did you come to that conclusion? She's going to have a list 25 years long, and you are toast. All right? Thank you, George. Thank you.